Hello dear students welcome back to the online classes my dear students we are left with three more topics which we are going to finish it off in this lockdown period my dear students let me today begin with one of the chapter which is important for the exam point of view this chapter you can keep for an optional in the examination today we are going to study the applications of definite integrals in this in the previous chapter we have studied to find the area bounded by the curve y is equals to f of x the ordinate x equal to a and x is equals to b and the x axis while calculating the definite integrals we know the steps to solve the problems on the definite integrals in this chapter we shall study a specific application of definite integrals to find the area under the simple curves comma area between the lines and arcs of circles parabolas and ellipses we shall also deal with finding the area bounded by the above said curves my dear students in the examination you were expecting the two questions from this applications of definite integrals one question will be in the part c and one more question in the part d section one three mark question and one five mark question we are only expecting the eight mark question from this chapter and these two questions are not compulsory in both the sections dear students let me begin with one of the two formulas to find the area bounded by the x axis of the given curve and area bounded by the curve with the y axis the area under the curve between the two given points and area between the curve can be obtained by definite integrals area under the curve y is equal to f of x between the points x is equal to a and x is equal to b area bounded by the x axis is given by the formula a is equal to integration a to b y dx my dear students or y x therefore this integration is equal to integration a to b f of x dx therefore this is the given curve y is equal to f of x and this curve is bounded with the x axis between the lines x is equal to a and x is equal to b and their area is given by the formula similarly we are going y is equal to a and y is equal to b area bounded by the y axis and is given by the formula capital a is equal to integration a to b x dy and this is equal to integration a to b our x is nothing but f of y dy these are the two formulas to find the area of the curve y is equal to f of x between the points x is equal to a x is equal to b and y is equal to a y is equal to dear students let me begin with the chapter 8 application of definite integrals exercise problems exercise 8.1 question number 1 find the area of the region y square is equal to x and the lines x is equal to a x is equal to 4 and the x axis as we have seen in the previous slide the area bounded by the curve and the x axis is given by the formula capital a is equal to integration a to b x is equal to 1 that is a is 1 and b is 4 integration 1 to 4 y dx formula by using that formula let me find the area bounded by the curve dear students the given curve is nothing but a parabola the equation of parabola y square is equal to x therefore this is the parabola which is opens to the right side of the x axis that is nothing but right side of the y axis therefore we should find the area of the curve bounded by the curve with the x axis in the first quadrant therefore the total area of this curve
now let me begin with the example uh, here the given parabola is bounded with the x axis at x is equals to 1 and x is equal to 4 therefore the area of the region bounded by the curve y square is equals to x and the lines x is equal to 1 x is equal to 4 and the x axis is the area a b c d in this area we are supposed to calculate if they do not ask for the first quadrant then we should find the complete area of this curve is which is uh, symmetric about the x axis this area as well as this area but in this case it is told that to find the area only in the first quadrant and the area of a b c d is equal to integration 1 to 4 y dx from the given curve y square is equal to x let me find out y is equal to square root of x actually it is a plus or minus root x but since the area is only in the first quadrant therefore we can take y is equal to only root x my dear students you know that how to find the area of root x x can be written as x raised to 1 by 2 also therefore integration of x raised to 1 by 2 can be written as x raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 under the limiting points 1 to 4 substitute the upper limit once minus the lower limit in the given integral uh, that gives 2 by 3 into 8 minus 1 therefore the total area of this curve is given by capital A is equal to 14 divided by 3 square units like this way we can find the area of the given curve Dear students, let me begin with the second example. Find the area of the region bounded by y square is equal to 9x and x is equal to 2, x equal to 4 and the x axis in the first quadrant. Since in this problem also it is given that the area required only in the first quadrant. Therefore, the given curve is nothing but y square is equal to 9x. Therefore, y is equal to plus or minus 3 into root x. Now, therefore, the formula once again it is given by the area of the region bounded by the curve y square is equal to 9x integration area of a b c d is equal to integration 1 to 4 sorry it is 2 to 4 y dx and our y is nothing but 3 root x dx therefore 3 times 3 is a constant as it is also the integration of root x is nothing but x raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 under the limiting points 2 to 4 therefore substituting once in the upper limit value and lower limit value that gives 2 times 4 raised to 3 by 2 minus 2 raised to 3 by 2 4 raised to 3 by 2 is nothing but 8 minus 2 root 2 therefore totally it gives 16 minus 4 root 2 units therefore area under the curve in the first quadrant is given by 16 minus 4 root 2 square units dear students let me begin with the third question find the area of the region bounded by x square is equal to 4y y is equal to 2, y is equal to 4 and the y axis. In this case, the curve is bounded with the y axis. Therefore, the area in the first quadrant, once again it is given by the formula, capital A is equal to integration A to B. Now the formula is not y dx, it is x dy because the curve is bounded with the y axis. Therefore, by second formula, we are supposed to find the area of that required curve is. Now the area of the region bounded by the curve x square is equal to 4y is given by the formula capital A is equal to integration 2 to 4 x square is nothing but 4y therefore x will be equal to 2 times root y integration of 2 constant as it is and root y integration is y raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 2 by 2 under the limiting points 2 to 4 therefore Substituting the upper limit in the given integral, uh, 3 by 2 can be written as 2 by 3. 2 by 3 into 2 can be given by 4 by 3. And therefore, substituting the upper limit and lower limit. Therefore, 4 raised to 3 by 2 minus 2 raised to 3 by 3 is nothing but 8 minus of 2 root 2. Multiplying by 4 by 3 to 8 minus 2 by 2 root 2, that gives 13 to minus 8 root 2 divided by 3 units. This gives the required area of the curve bounded with the dear students above examples were for three marks 
now i am going to solve the question number 5 fourth question is done not there for the examination the question number 5 is uh, which is expected in the examination for 5 marks find the area of the region bounded by the ellipse x square by 4 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1 this question will be expected in the examination for 5 marks the given equation of the ellipse can be represented as below therefore the curve can be written as x by 4 plus x y square by 9 is equal to 1 by solving this equation we get y is equal to 3 times square root of 1 minus x square or we can write the area of the curve in the first quadrant will be y dx formula but if you want to know the area of the complete ellipse which is vertical about both the coordinate axes and its area will be given by the form area of a sector oab therefore area of a sector oab one time it is given by integration 1 to 2 y dx the for integration 1 to 2 our y is nothing but 3 times square root of 1 minus x square by 4 and y is nothing but 3 times square root of 1 minus x square by 4 by solving this equation we can get square root of 4 minus x square and common denominator will be root 4 root 4 can be written as 2 therefore 3 by 2 constant outside integration now the integration 3 by 2 constant outside integration 1 to 2 root of 4 minus x square into dx now my dear students by solving this uh, integration root of 4 minus x square there is a standard formula integration of uh, integration of square root of x square minus a square or a square minus x square is given by the formula x by 2 into square root of a square minus x square plus uh, it is a square by 2 into sin inverse of x divided by a this is the formula to find the integration of root of x square a square minus x square and that is given by the formula again here it is written x by 2 into square root of the given integral plus a square by 2 a square is or 4 divided by 2 sin inverse of x divided by a a square is 4 means a is equals to 2 then by substituting element we get uh, the result as 3 by 2 constant outside or substituting the upper limit in the given integral we get 2 pi by 2 by solving this equation then 2 2 cancels we get 3 pi divided by 2 this is the area only in the first quadrant but we want to know the area of complete ellipse therefore 4 into 3 by 2 if i multiply that gives 2 1 is 2 2 2 is 4 2 3 is 6 pi is the complete area of the ellipse in all the quadrants therefore the area bounded by the ellipse is given by 6 pi units dear students let me start solving the question number 11 find the area of the region bounded by the curve y square is equal to 4x and the line x equal to 3 The region bounded by the parabola y square equal to 4x and the line x equal to 3 is the area of O A C O A. That is nothing but we are going to find the area of the curve O A C O A. This complete area is required in both the quadrants because this curve is symmetric about the x-axis. The upper half and lower half together the area is required in the but now this time we are going to find the complete area of the parabola which is bounded with the line x equal to 3 now in this case uh, the formula is given by the area of o a c o is symmetrical about the x axis therefore the area of o a c o is equals to t times the area of o a b and that is nothing but two times integration 0 to 3 because here we want to take the limiting points from 0 to 3 it is 0 to 3 limiting points lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 3 therefore integration 0 to 3 y dx and y is nothing but our 2 root x 2 taken common outside 2 to choose of 4 integration of root x is nothing but x raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 under the limiting point 0 to 3 
therefore 3 by 2 can be written as 2 by 3 2 by 3 into 4 will be 8 by 3 and the lower limit and upper limit of solution upper limit is 3 3 raised to 3 by 2 minus 0 raised to 3 by 2 0 raised to 3 by 2 is second part of that integral will be 0 therefore 3 raised to 3 by 2 into 8 by 3 will be given by 8 root 3 therefore the required area is nothing but 8 root 3 units my dear students these are the above examples which are expected in the examination for 3 marks and 5 marks my dear students i suggest you to refer the textbook page number 361 and the example number one and example number two which are solved in the textbook these are expected in the examination for five mark questions i hope this chapter you have understood and i hope you will practice this example and these examples will be expected in the examination I suggest you to refer the textbook and some solved examples so that you will be perfect to get the solution of this kind of examples in the examination. With this, I, with this, I conclude the today's topic. Thank you. If you have any queries, please contact the given below number 9448578708. Thank you once again. Stay home, stay safe.